like initially when you start it may be it may be hard to take that first step but you know it's like taking that first step empowers you because it's like oh i've taken mm -hmm. a step i've actually moved forward there's nothing better in you know in a, in a, you know for a creator that's just starting out that forward momentum welcome to the unique show where we talk about all things unique studios african geekdom and the business of creators Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to The Unique Show. I am one of your hosts, Roy Okupe, CEO of Unique Studios. Co-host, introduce yourself. My name is Jake Baje. I am from the Niger Nerds and happy to be here talking about the business of creating, dropping gems that creators everywhere need to hear. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, do you like my Attack on Titan shirt? I Levi. do. I'm looking at <laughs> rocking these things. I'm like, look at this. I look. I have one Attack on Titan shirt, and it's got just four of the characters on it. I'm looking. Oh, at nice. That. that that's just that's just badass. Just nice, badass. nice, nice. Yeah. All right. Speaking of um, badass, let's talk about some badass mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> do you like what that I just did? Bad pun. <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo. All right. Let's talk about <laughs> telling the wrong back. joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to come back from that. <laughs> All right. Let me let me it. take it. Let me take a 10 second break. Please go ahead. Please. You can't save it. Let's own it. I'll put myself in timeout. <laughs> I'll put myself in timeout. Please go ahead. All right. So today we're going to be diving into a very interesting topic. And I think we've got a lot of really good feedback from people who have been watching some of the other clips and specifically yeah. some of the steps and points that have been made for creators and business people, things that they should learn. So yeah. we're going to expand on some of that today and dive into five of the most costly mistakes that creative entrepreneurs make. And yep, Roy's yep. going to be sharing from his experiences, um, in some cases, almost painful and in some mm -hmm. cases painful mistakes <laughs> that were made. Um, and he's also got friends. So he's drawing not just from his experience. It's not just one dimensional, but also that that other people have shared, other creators have shared with him. And the whole story is, is, is you can say it's, it's, um, it's enriching because you can pick from all these different people's mistakes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Roy, let's dive into that. Okay. Yeah, mistake number one, don't tell bad jokes on your podcast. That's, that's, the, first. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first. Uh, ironically, that's a bonus. <laughs> ironically, sometimes it's so bad it's good. So we need to find know, the right? worst joke possible to tell. <laughs> All right. Mo, no, like you said, um, yeah, this, these are some very painful mistakes I've personally made. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Mistake number one, telling the wrong story. Mm. Um a lot of times, and I made this mistake myself, when creators come out with something, whether it's a comic, animation, short film, um, music, whatever it is, promoting yourself as a writer, whatever it is, we focus, and it's not that it's a bad thing, we focus so much on the thing itself that we're selling. Like, mm -hmm. so, like for instance, I'll give you an example. You know, if I'm selling a book, like let's say EXO, like one of the things that I was so enthralled with was like, oh, this is a superhero story that takes place in a futuristic Lagos, Nigeria. A superhero story that takes place in it, like over and over and over again. And it's not that you shouldn't give people a taste of, of what the story is, but I found that in my own personal like, experience that it's always better to tell them um, at the same time your story. Why mm -hmm. are you doing this? Like, what is it that actually pushed you to do what it is you're doing as a creator? People are you know, a lot of times, especially when you're first starting out and you're not like a huge brand, like a Disney or a Marvel or whatever the case may be, people are more interested in your story. And for me, you know, it was trying to create or put Africa on the map when it came to superhero and fantasy stories. Mm -hmm. When I when I started telling that story in conventions, you know, pitching to to to, to networks um, or where whatever it was, I found out that people paid more attention. Uh, first of all, people like to root for the underdog. That's yeah. one thing. Um, so if, if you have an underdog story, which most, if not all creators who are starting out have, you need to tell that story. Like, where, where are you from? Why is what you're doing important to you? Why should that res Why does that resonate with other people? What are some of the things that you struggle with that you're trying to you know, overcome? You know, what is the message that you're trying to send? Like, what is it that you're doing to help other people? Like, mm -hmm. these are all things that I incorporated into my story and the moment I started telling that as much as I was telling the story of the story, 
um, and again, I don't mean to sound meta, the more that I started realizing that people remembered me as, oh, okay, I like this guy. And even though I've never heard of his book, I want to try his book. It made you relatable. Like him. It made, exactly. That's what I was, that's that's the whole thing. Actually, I just started with that. It made me relatable. Uh, yeah, and it made me more like a human being as opposed to a salesman. Because people yeah. hate sales. They, like you imagine yourself when somebody comes to knock on your door and says, Hey, do you want to get the solar panels? Like I've even just started slamming the door on their face without even responding. That's not a, so a good this, thing. Uh, to I do. See you're taking <laughs> digs at you're taking digs at two of my future previous careers. Um, as a previous salesperson and a previous old solar panel <laughs> solar salesman. But yeah, do, uh, to, <laughs> that to me, that's that's um the first mistake that, yeah. that people make. Um True. I don't know if you have any comments on that, but yeah. Well, I'll just say that you you know. It's absolutely true. People connect more to a story when they know where it's coming from. They know where the, the source is. And knowing the source means knowing the, the creator, knowing a little bit more about that person and, and the, the things that influenced it. So exactly. I can say that I, for one, connected more with your stories when I got to know a little bit more about you. And exactly. even though I like the story, it added mm -hmm. a layer of, of, of authenticity and exactly. relatability to it for me that made me think, wow, you know, this dude is exploring things that I want to get into, I want to hear about, and and, and I, I liked it. It was really cool. So I know there's many others out there like that. Cool. Uh, but anyway, so jumping into that mistake is one thing. What is the next error that you say people should avoid? All right, mistake number two, um, thinking it's all about you. This is sort of like, you know, to balance the first it's thing. to balance the first one tell exactly. your story <laughs> tell but your it's story. not just about but you it's, yeah it's not don't now get to a narcissistic point of view where it's like it's all about me it's all about my story i'm good look at me i'm great blah 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 mm -hmm. you have to always remember it's all about them and when i say them it's your fans like you have to always every single thing you do you have to think about it from the perspective of the people that are supporting you or the people that are going to be supporting you right you know one of the reasons why i do this segment, the business of creators, is because I'm trying to give back to the people that have helped me to get to this point. Right. I've always, I, before I started a podcast, I used to do it at conventions. Like when people come to my desk, to uh, to my table to buy my books, they would ask me for advice, like how do I get you know get to this point? And I would sometimes spend an hour talking to somebody and giving them all the information that I have. And I feel like again, that's what people remember. It makes you more relatable. It makes you more human. Mm -hmm. And um, again, every single thing has to be done from that perspective. It's like, how is my, how is my customer going to benefit from this action? You know, this book that I'm writing, you know, this, you know, show that I'm creating, how are the people that I'm creating it for? Like, what did they benefit from? How did they get something from this? It's one of the reasons why for me, my tenants, when I'm create, actually creating a story is entertain, inspire and educate. Because it's not all about just making people see cool things. I want them to leave inspired. And I also want to leave them learning something that they've never learned before. I think, which is one of the reasons why you're so big on putting together a lot of educational material. And yeah. a lot of that material is really, I've said it before to you privately, some of the most in-depth tutorials and training <laughs> materials that I've ever seen anybody put together. Like you could yeah. quite literally have taken a whole different career as a motivational speaker <laughs> and trainer, but you're incorporating a lot of that into this. So you're taking your fans along, right? That's yeah. a great thing. You're not just entertaining them, you're educating them. And exactly. they have a rich resource of materials to get into yeah. um, that you made available. So yep. Yep. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's pretty brave. So which kind of leads to, you know, Number yep. three, what's the third mistake that people should uh, not succumb to? Yeah, so mistake number three is the fear of failure. Uh, this mm. is something that I still struggle with even now, uh, believe, <laughs> believe it or Imposter not. Imposter syndrome never really leaves you. It never it? leaves you. It never leaves you. It's how you respond to it. You just get better at responding to it. Um, and that's what you should focus on. Like initially when you start, it may be, it may be hard to take that first step. But, you know, it's like taking that first step empowers you because it's like, oh, I've taken mm -hmm. a step. I've actually moved forward. There's nothing better in, you know, in, a, in a, you know, for a creator that's just starting out that forward momentum, whether that's, you know, putting out 10, a, 10 pages of a book or just designing the first page of a book and seeing the artist deliver it to you. That's forward progress. Selling your first book. That's forward progress. Selling your first graphic novel. That's for, forward progress. You know, you know, getting your your first like or share. That's forward progress. Like getting to 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 meet your your customers face to face for for the first time and and interacting with them. 
that's forward progress. So always focus on forward progress because failure is something that's inevitable. Like mm-hmm. I've failed so many times. So you, it's going to happen either way. So, you know, being afraid of it doesn't necessarily eliminate it. You just have to try your best to mitigate failure. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I always try to do. But at the same time, even though you can mitigate it, then you can, you can learn from it, right? Like, so there's experiences I've had when I started out, you know, um, you know, with with um, Unique Studios, where I made a lot of terrible decisions. But you bet, you bet, you you know what? That I'm not going to make those mistakes again because I've learned from it. I've become better from it, and you know, I'm taking those those things that I learned and I'm passing them on to other people now. Um, but at, but at the same time, like I said, like don't be afraid to fail. Just don't be. That's amazing. I think. I will definitely bet my big brown, you know what, on the fact that not only did you learn the lessons, but we're seeing the rewards today, right? Mm-hmm. The rewards of adapting and adopting those lessons and the, the life lessons into your, your whole approach. Yeah. Um, and I think one of the lessons you learned is what fuels point number four that you're yep. about to talk about. Yeah. Mistake number four is doing too much. Uh, that was a big mistake that uh, I sort of made like very early on before I got, got official. I wanted to do this whole universe thing. I had all the characters, I had everything. So I was going all around the place. So video games, comics, animation, blah, blah, blah. Nothing happened. I had to scale everything back into one. Start with EXO, The Legend of Wally Williams. I, I, again, I've talked on this podcast about what's your Mickey Mouse. Uh, go and Google that um, you know, that term and you, you should see the video that I, that I, I spoke about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, streamlining, especially when you're starting, into one thing what is one thing that you can start with my minimum viable project and how can i build on that because a lot of times in this creative space people look at companies like disney and netflix and they say i want to be that and there's nothing wrong with that ambition but you can't be them on day one you have to take a step back start with your minimum viable project start with your mickey mouse build upon that and go from there I think you put that so well. The fact that you really sometimes try to go in every direction and end up going nowhere. It's a, it's a, it's a humbling experience. <laughs> it's a humbling Very. experience where you wake up and realize, you know, I can't do, you know, what? I mean, it's happened to me too. I can speak for that in Nigeria mm-hmm. and we've seen it happen in many other facets of life. So that's yeah. a very good point. Yep. yep. Uh, but then lastly, and not, not last but not least, yeah. Uh, which is ironic concerning the title. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I know, right? Mystic number five is not sweating the small stuff. I know in in life, people say don't sweat the small stuff, but as a creator, personally, I feel you have to sweat the small stuff. There's a a story that I'll uh, I'll tell because one day I was was working with one of my artists and um, he sent me a page and on the page there was something that was there was minor that was a mistake was it was it was a mistake that he had made and he told me that man i mean roy come on nobody's going to see it i said i see it and that's enough for me to make that change like if there's one person that's going to see that mistake that's enough Mm -hmm. and i think attention to detail is what separates good from great like you can you can be successful being good but greatness it's another level it's attention yeah. to detail. It's Tom Brady not eating strawberries or whatever. I don't know what the heck that means. Like, why won't you eat? Like, let's not even get into that. <laughs> but um, you know, but that's that's what greatness is. Like, it's 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 making those sacrifices that you know regular people won't, or people like like to that like to take shortcuts. Will like you have to remember that being great requires taking a lot of very small decisions. Um, it's not doing one thing big. Is doing a thousand small things well. That's what greatness is. And it requires a lot of attention to detail. And it's sometimes very painful. It's very annoying. But I guarantee you, when you do that, it will set your work aside from the regular people. So well put. So well put. So again, we've been going over five costly mistakes that creative business people, creative entrepreneurs make. And Roy has outlined all five of them from his own personal pain. Literally, yep. cost him money, yes. <laughs> blood, sweat, and blood, sweat, and, and, and nickels and dimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cost yep, him. Yep, yep. And he's telling you right now: number one, you don't want to end up telling the wrong story. Tell your story. Number yeah. two, he said, don't rem- don't forget it's not just about you. All right, it's about mm-hmm. the people around you as well. Take them with you. Yep. And three, don't be afraid to fail. Don't mm-hmm. be afraid to fail. Number four. 
don't do too much. You can't go in every direction. Find your Mickey Mouse. And yep. number five, don't sweat the small stuff. All right. Exactly. You got to focus and make sure you focus on some degree of perfection. All right. Yep. Sweat it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 So Definitely. well put. So well put. So you got to tell the audience again, where can they find more of your work? And where can they see the results of you not uh, learning from these mistakes? Uniquestudios.com, baby. Um, that's um, I don't know why I said that like a rapper, but um, yeah, <laughs> uniquestudios.com. You can find it. Uh, you can find everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> on the website and then on social media at Unique Studios. I promise, guys, I'll do better next time. He will. He will. He'll <laughs> learn from his mistakes. <laughs> I, and, exactly. And, and I remain Jay Baje. You can find me on uh, at Nuru the Nerd Guru on social media. You can also find me at the Niger Nerds uh, at NigerNerds.com and also on all social media. This has been awesome. You guys have a fantastic day. Peace out.